Hey, this is Adam from Sumitomo Drive Technologies, and on today's video, we're going to go over the procedure for installation of our new Easy Grip shaft locking system. Uh, it makes for an easier install for when you have one reducer and you need to fit multiple shaft sizes. So it makes it a little bit more customizable, easy to install for a little bit different application. So we'll go over that install here on this video. Always remember when working with equipment like this, always want to wear your proper PPE, whether it's safe steel toe boots, safety glasses, gloves, and depending on your location, your electrical lockout tag out procedures. These are the tools we'll be going to use for the installation of our Easy Grip system, and here are the components that come with each kit, along with a safety cover as well. First step is to clean and dry the driven shaft. We also want to confirm the diameter of the shaft to make sure it's as needed for the installation. Next we're going to install the back plate of the safety cover. This plate must go on first or else it cannot be installed later after the easy grip is in place. Using the two smaller Phillips head screws mount the backing plate to the reducer. Depending on your installation, there may be a gasket. Refer to your O&M manual to confirm. Next, on the back side of the reducer, you're going to install the rear shaft collar. The next step would be to mount the reducer onto the driven equipment. Once the unit's on the shaft, go ahead and mount the shrink disc onto the reducer shaft. Once that's on, you can install the outer collar into the shaft by maneuvering the reducer so it slides in easily. Next, we can go ahead and tighten up the inner collar. You'll want to tighten that inner collar to spec. The spec will be in the O&M manual provided with the Easy Grip kit. Next, we'll go ahead and tighten down the shrink disc itself. Using a circular pattern, hand tighten all hardware so it is flush with the outer flange of the shrink disc itself. This ensures proper seating of the shrink disc and proper clamping. Next, using the same circular pattern, you'll set the shrink disc to its proper torque. This torque is also outlined in the O&M manual for the Easy Grip. Next and last, we install the outer safety cover. Using the three supplied bolts, tighten down all three evenly and again here there may be a gasket in between the two components if your application needs it. Check the O&M to confirm. And this concludes the installation process of our Easy Grip system. Shaft sizes, so you can fit more than one. Well, one yeah, we got some background noise there. Look who it is. No, Ruining okay. everything. <laughs>